Hey YouTube, I'm just doing a follow-up on the K66 Scott's transmission hub upgrades and axle upgrades and I wanted to show you um, what happened to me uh, with one of my the, the old Scott's hubs here while I was mowing. Um, as I said before, the weak link is this little piece that they have kind of just indented right here. It's supposed to be like a key. Of this piece right here, of this entire piece, the only thing that holds on to right, right in here that holds on to the axle is this much. So you have about maybe a half of an inch of key. The rest of it is just garbage. So it, it's just kind of half pressed from there. Um, not only did the key break, which wasn't the, the, the main issue, was the, it was a complete hub failure. The hub broke away from, if I can even kind of fit this together, sort of, the hub broke away from the piece that goes onto the axle. So I had to fight to get this piece off the axle and this was left on the uh, the wheel. So we're gonna get away from working with those because those are uh, just junk. That was a bad, bad uh, idea, probably a money saving idea, but um, a bad idea. Now this one here, this is the upgrade that we're using and um, it's, I have, this is a very long key, uh, key stock here. And this is going to simply just, when you get your axle, when you get your axle and everything set up, um, you just slip the key in, measure it, cut it to whatever length you need, and then you put it all together, jam it all together. This is cast iron. This is from the 70, uh, the K70 um, axle. Now you'll notice that it's just round right here and it's not really um, much different from the one I'm gonna show you next here. And that is the one that came from a, uh, what was it, a John Deere 3, 345. This one has the axles are different and the hubs are the same. They just have this little um, little piece missing, uh, I don't know, cut, shaved, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, and this, the axle will not fit because of the retaining, key, uh, the retaining C clip inside this will not go in all the way the K66 transmission because when you get inside there is a bushing about yay long and that's what rides uh, that's what basically blanks out I guess I if that's a best way to describe it blanks out the um, the differential lock so they needed a big bushing so they put one in there and this key uh, this this um, or the the C clip that goes around in here is actually supposed to be right behind here so if you get this axle it's not going to be a problem you can still use it it'll be fine you just have to bring it to a machinist and have them chuck it up to a lathe and make sure that you have your old K66 axles and say, you know, I need it measured from here. I need it um, uh, a C-clip uh, channel for that right there. Uh, let me grab you a C-channel or, or the C-clip and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. Um. Okay, so this is going to be the 
this is going to be like a three part or a three piece unit as soon as you open it up you'll know exactly what I'm talking about this if we can imagine that this is the axle right here to slip this on here just so that it stays put this this um, oh Christ I forgot what the name of it is um, we'll go right here and then this let me just pull this apart here and do this right here we'll just slide this one on and then this goes in front of that and then here's your c-clip which drops right down in here this must be the wrong c-clip for what i got going on here so but this is the c-clip looks just like this and then there's the bushing between here now this channel or this um uh, the groove has to be cut back here. If you try to use these, this axle right here from a 345 and it's, and the way uh, that I can tell is that I bought them from a 345 and it has this little um, recess there, that little cut there, and the 325 does not. It's just perfectly round. They're exactly the same length and they're made of the same cast cast iron so very strong the axles may not work for our um, K66 okay not a big deal so take the cup off take out the ring and then press out the axle this hub unit this hub this whole hub unit right here can be replaced with um, the key if you just get some key stock you can just replace just the hub and that will give you well a better uh, a better option than this um, I bought this I bought a set of these on eBay for I want to say it was like $55 plus another 10 for shipping, so 60, 65, let's say 70, 70 bucks. And this one was, with the axles and everything, uh, came out to about 90 bucks uh, with shipping and everything. So I might not be able to use the axles right now, but if I ever do get in a spot where I don't know how, that's hardened steel, I don't know how in the world that you would possibly wreck that but worst case scenario I can just bring it in have a lathe have somebody from a machine with a machinist with a lathe just cut a groove that fits my clip here my C clip I'm not sure why this isn't one fitting right here but it's clearly the different one but that's the, the biggest one, the biggest thing I wanted to show you right now was if you do decide to go with the hubs and you think that the axles, the axles may not fit, but the hubs will, both of them. Either one of them. I have one a set of these on a transmission that I just finished up that's behind me that's going in one of my other Scots, but I wanted to show you what what I was going to show you was just the weak link that this thing is, but the weld clearly wasn't that great to begin with. So all I heard was a pop, and it just it just sat there and spun. So that's why it kind of looks like it's all chooched up right in here. It's all gouged up, looks terrible, because uh, I didn't know exactly what was wrong with it. But I knew it was going to be either the key or something like that. So that these things I, I would just throw them away um, if you can if you can just grab a set of these on eBay grab a set of these clean up your axles rip these things off throw them away and then because um, I mean it's, if, if you have a hill say if you're on a hill and the key gives way nothing's gonna stop you there's nothing gonna stop the 
Um, the wheel might roll out if, you know, possible, but the brakes are going to lock up the axle, but the hub's going to spin. And if the keyway is broken, the hub is just going to spin on the axle. So if you're going up a slight incline, there's nothing but whatever is behind you that's going to stop you. So I, but that's, you know, that's worst case scenario. So, uh, but I just wanted to show you what kind of key we're dealing with here as opposed to what I'm putting in there. So we're going to be, let me move this one out of the way. This one's going to get a key all the way into the axle that uh, a full, full key as much as I can get in there rather than just this half inch garbage. So that's all I got for right now. Um, the other transmission that's in there right now is working excellent. Um, it goes uh, with the 5W50 full synthetic uh, fluid that we put in and then a uh, new filter and all that other stuff. Uh, the, the transmission, it's like, it's like a brand new tractor again. Uh, all my, there's uh, some bits that probably could get tightened up, some different bushings in the, uh, in the pedals that I can uh, get that will make it a little bit probably faster maybe um, but it works great and this was definitely I don't have to worry about um, breaking a keyway or an axle again now so that that's gone but that's really the weak link on the Scots I'm gonna say it's the um, more the garden tractor with the K66 rear axles, which is like a 23 horse. A tw I think it's like a 20 horse, a 23 horse, and a 25 horse um, styles. So, but anyway, I hope you had a, uh, had a great Father's Day and uh, getting out, enjoying some of the summer. I know I am. Um, I'm getting about uh, six between six and eight hours of mowing um, per per mow so that's like per week and gas prices they're giving they're giving away free gas somewhere I just haven't figured out where yet but um, no not really but uh, the Tractors are running great. I'm getting a lot of more therapy, more time therapy. And uh, so if you if you get a chance to get, get to get to mowing or get to doing whatever you're doing with your tractor, have fun and just keep turning the dirt. Later guys.